If you're one of the hundreds of millions of people out there who are currently suffering from chronic pain problems like back pain, headaches, migraines, neuropathic pain, complex regional pain syndrome, or fibromyalgia, then there's a body of literature that you absolutely need to know about that links common vitamin and nutrient deficiencies directly to these and a whole bunch of other problems. And that's exactly what we're talking about in this video. Let's get into this. This article was published in 2020 in the journal Nutrients, and the researchers here started out with a really interesting hypothesis that the experience of chronic pain was related to the amount of magnesium that a person takes in on a daily basis. And so to get to the bottom of this, they analyzed survey data from over 13,000 adults over a five-year period, and here's what they found. First off, and this is important, the researchers confirmed that the majority of the United States adult population does not consume enough magnesium. But beyond that, they found that adults that suffer from chronic pain had lower magnesium intakes per kilogram of body weight than adults who did not have chronic pain. Interestingly, the protective effects of magnesium consumption against chronic pain were much greater among some of the groups of people in this study than they were among others. So when looking at this graph, you can see that the effects were particularly strong in women, which is fantastic because women tend to suffer from chronic pain conditions of all sorts at a much higher rate than men do. And it was also high among adults under the age of 65. In both men and older adults, the effect was still there, although it was much weaker. Far and away, the most incredible thing about this study was that the researchers found that for every additional milligram of magnesium consumed per kilogram of body weight, the odds of experiencing chronic pain were reduced by 8%. 8% for every milligram. In addition to a lower daily magnesium intake, these researchers also found that the people in this study that suffered with chronic pain had a much higher incidence of inflammatory diseases than people who did not suffer with chronic pain. They point out that although this is not definitive, it does support a model of chronic pain where inflammation is a major contributor to the underlying disorder. Guys, this one article doesn't come close to scratching the surface of the large volume of information that's out there regarding nutritional strategies that have been shown to be helpful for people suffering with chronic pain. So if you want to know more about nutrient deficiencies and inflammation and their role in chronic pain, I've got a brand new webinar that talks all about that. And you can see that by clicking the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Now, I'm also going to put links for it in the description down below this video. Beyond that, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button before you head out of here and I'll see you next week.